This is uh, Lee Jackson of uh, Jackson Tree Service. It's been raining off and on all morning here. We've been cutting for a couple hours, but that hasn't stopped Lee and his crew from uh, cutting the trees. So, uh, Lee, how do you? Um, what's your strategy in cutting this tree here? Well, we just make our notch and uh, you look at the target that you're setting out to, to, to hit, and you say, "Well, this is the range I want," and uh, you notch it. And I guess you pray after that, and you do your back cut, and just keep your hinge to the tight side that you want to hold it to turn it. Uh, it's just a little bit of art, but I mean, as you play with the, the trees and get to know them, you, it's, it comes natural. I'll uh, get my notch cut, and we'll go from there. Great. <laughs> Nice job, Lee. Thank you. You Thank dropped you. that right where you uh, right where you wanted to. Well, I know you want to save your birch, and that's what I was looking at. <laughs> I want, you want to save your birch, and I want to save my chipper. <laughs> <laughs> it's very windy today. A strong gust can push a tree to fall in the wrong direction, it's like our neighbor's house. And he reduces this danger by using his bucket truck to trim the top sail off these big pine trees. So this is what it looks like at the end of having cut down all these trees, nearly all of them. The bucket truck is gone, the chainsaws are gone, the shredder is gone, and all there is is the sound of the wind. We've still got uh, a few trees to cut, maybe, uh, maybe eight or nine or so, and uh, a logger is going to come over here in the next couple days and uh, decide which of these trees are uh, suitable for milling into lumber and which ones will go uh, just for pulp. The chur has opened up the site a lot. Until next time. <laughs>